everyone, it's Tiffany and Nova with Easy Toddler Hairstyles. Today we're actually doing a back hairstyle. It's kind of hard to see from the front, but it's a little back pull through braid that's pulled up into a messy bun. Um, she's actually wearing this style to dance today, so it's a great active style and a great summer style. Welcome back to Skiss This style you're going to have an area in the back parted off the rest of the hair I'm putting up high and on the top of her head so it's out of the way this part in the back is going to go from ear to ear and it's about the middle of her ear in the back so I've got probably a fourth of the hair in this back section I'm just going to wet it down comb it out and then we are going to start adding our ponytails in this bottom area we are going to have six ponytails I want to guide them to the right since that's the way that my pull through braid will be going. So as you can see, I'm coming from behind the ponytail, adding it into the middle and kind of guiding it to the right as I add it to the ponytail. Your third ponytail should be right in the middle of the crease of her neck, right at the nape of the neck. Um, and that will kind of guide you so that you know that your ponytail sections are somewhat even. They don't need to be perfect, but that will show you that you're about halfway through with your ponytails and that you have enough for three more ponytails. So we're just going to continue parting out the style. I'm guiding the ponytail to the right a little bit. Um, I just feel like the pull through braid sits a little bit better when you kind of guide it the way that you want it to go from the beginning. So here is ponytail number five. I'm also using spray gel and water as I go, which I will link in the description below. And finally, ponytail number six. Now you might have seen some of my other videos for a pull through braid, that is all we're gonna do at this point. If you're new to pull through braids, I will show you how it is done. So six ponytails. Ponytail number one, I'm going to split in half. I'm going to bring it around ponytail number two. Add both pieces to ponytail number three. From here, I'm going to pancake out the braid, which makes it have more volume, so I'm just pulling out lightly on the edges of the braid, just so it looks fuller. From here, we're taking ponytail number two, splitting it in half, bringing it around number three, and adding it to number four. I will add a ponytail holder to number four, and then again, I'm just going to pancake this next section out like I did that first section. So you're just going to repeat this until you run out of ponytails. I like to work with hair that is a little bit damp. Um, it's a little bit easier to work with when you've got kind of that fine hair type, but not soaking wet because then your pull through braid doesn't pancake out quite as nicely. So taking number four, splitting it in half, bringing it around number five and adding it to number six. I'll add my ponytail holder and then pancake out. From here, we have no more anchored ponies. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, the way I'm gonna show you today is splitting the second to last or fifth ponytail in half, bringing it around that last ponytail. And you're not gonna attach it to another ponytail, you're just going to attach it to yourself, to itself, not yourself, itself. Then we will pancake that out and simply repeat. So I want enough of these little pull throughs to go up to my ponytail, which is going to be a messy bun on top. So I'll keep doing them until the pull through braid reaches up to the top. So splitting the top ponytail in half, bringing it around the bottom ponytail, attaching it to itself, and then pancaking out. Again, top ponytail, split in half, bring it around the other ponytail, and attach it back to itself. Once your pull through braid is long enough to reach to that bun up top, then I'm simply going to finish pulling the hair through on this ponytail. I just mostly needed it out of the way for now. So I pull all the way through with the elastic and then I'm going to bring my pull through braid up and add it to this high ponytail on top. You can leave it as a ponytail. We are going to do it with a messy bun today. So I'll make a loop a couple of inches Kind of wrap the hair in between and then around. I'll fan the hair out and add an elastic. No too messy bun looks the same so just 
um, go ahead and use bobby pins to pin it into place where you want it. And then I'm just going to add a bow to finish it off. Here's one final look at our finish style. We want to thank you so much for watching our video today. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next Friday with a new tutorial. Bye bye. Oh, we already did this one last year. We already did this one last year? Yeah. Um, okay. But we had to do a video for all our friends.